G'day guys, it's uh, it's Arthur again. Oh, I've been meaning to do this video for months, um, talking about between uh, bootlegs and originals. I've had a, oh, a bit of a blue with one guy a couple of months ago. He rang me up asking me if I had a black dragon. And I said, yeah, I do have a black dragon, but it's a bootleg. He goes, oh, I only deal with originals because originals is the better way of going. And I say, yeah, I said, so the same. I said, I like original Japanese girls, but I end up marrying a Chinese Malaysian. So what do you want me to say, you know? So that's, I just mean, mean need to do this for a long time. So what you see now is two boards. On the right-hand side here is an original Tetris from Atari, okay? On the other hand, this is a bootleg version. You can sort of see they're pretty close to each other, one smaller than the other. Okay, I'll give you a quick rundown. Back in 1989, Hank kids ring us, rang us up while well, I was working for two, two brothers, Jeff and Keith. Okay, And he goes, oh, there's a new game out, it's called Tetris. So I went down to Hank kids to pick it up, and the guy goes, oh, it's fifteen ninety five. I said, fifteen ninety five for this board? He goes, yeah. Well, his name was Paul. Okay, and I go, you fucking serious? Oh, sorry, I can't use that word. And I go, all right, so we take it to, back to the workshop there. We plug it into our test fixture, and um, it was amazing. We couldn't get off the bastard. It, we just, it was so addictive, it was unbelievable. So we end up putting it in the front of the, uh, the centre there at 427 High Street, and mate, the crowd was lining up. So a few, month, a few weeks later and that, a bootleg gets released. Price, under 500 bucks. So, can you see the difference, what I'm saying? $1,600 to $500. And, the, and it's the same. They're using the same Oki chips, same program, same everything. But you can see it's a cheaper version. So, it's still, the, the people didn't know the difference between original or bootlegs back in the day when they were playing it. You know, but they're still putting their 20 cent pieces in and they were still playing it. So, here's another one, for example. Here's an original Arkanoid. All right. Again, another real classic game. Made a shitload of cash. You know, there's an original one. Yeah, pretty clean, original board. Here's the bootleg. Have a look at it. Okay. Oh, I've got to give courtesy to the guy from Canada. His adapters. If it wasn't for these guys who make these nice quality adapters. Okay, they do cost a few bucks to make. But again, you know. I'll give credit to those guys who make these adapters. Here's another, here's another brand of adapter from another guy out of Canada. Again, good quality connectors. There's bugger all voltage drop between the pins and the, and the biscuit. You know, back to the board again. Have a look. Same sort of layout around here if you have a look. Same layout on over here. Same sort of layout. The only difference is it doesn't have the security chip okay, that they've put on there. So what did they do? They modified it, mainly for the coin counters, that section. Audio section, you have a look here. Audio section. Audio section. So I put them on the ground so you can sort of see what I'm pointing at. So the audio section, and on the side, this side is the same. Basically, program similar to over here. Again, cheaper. They look the same. They do the same and all that. The quality, pretty good. So don't get me wrong. Bootlegs are easier to work on than originals. I'll go give you. I've got another one here for you. Uh, bear with me. I'm trying to unwrap them out of my bubble bags. Best bubble thing adventure. Bought about 500 of them. They're about a 450 by 450, and I put all my boards into that. Easier to maneuver. Okay, here. Everybody should know what this board looks like and what it is. That's right. It's a Wonder Boy, an original System 1 Wonder Boy, all right? Now, have a good look at this. You can see the Sega had custom chips in here. There's, you can see, I'll zoom in here. Custom chip, custom chip, okay? They're the custom chips, program, daughter boards, you know, sound section and all that, all right? I'll put it on the ground. Here, have a look at this one. This is a bootleg version of a Wonder Boy. Same thing, oh. You know, big big daughter board because they couldn't do the custom chips another daughter board okay again same game people didn't know the difference back in the day so again well, I deal with originals again price difference 
This would have been about, what, 600 bucks? You know, what are we talking about? Two grand? So, big difference in prices of games. You know, but good thing about it is, there's a guy in Italy who's put a lot of R&D in reproducing custom chips. His, his name's Fabrizio. Okay, he, he, he puts a lot of effort into these. Okay, they cost a few dollars, but if your board's dead and you need a custom chip, well, you need to put it in and get it going again. So what's a dead board worth? Nothing. All right, here's another one. He made these ones for the for the Toto ones, for the RGBs. These are used on a lot of Toto boards. You'll see it. Good quality. You know, the price is the price, you know, but again, oh, wait for it. Here's another one. This is a Konami chip. This is used on a lot of Konami boards, like the Simpsons, Turtles, Aliens, and all that. Again, reproduced. Most of the time, the pins break off, and you got a dead board. You know, give him credit, you know. There's another guy in the UK who's doing Atari boards now. Okay, here's a classic one. This is, here, this is a Sega one. This is a Sega board. This is a System 16A board. Have a look at it. Custom, custom chip, custom security with it's a it's a Toshiba with a battery in these. These are common. They're all been dying. And courtesy to the guys out there who actually co um, got the decoding for it. But here, have a look at a bootleg version of a 16B. All right, here it is. Here's the bootleg. Uh, put it on the side there. All right, daughter board. Instead of the security chip, they put a daughter board. Similar to layout, this is actually a Shinobi. Oh, it actually is, um, the character's gone. The sprites have disappeared. But have a good look between the two, you know. I'll zoom across. Have a look. This guy here, layout here, layout over here, pretty close. Three EEPROMs in the back, the RAMs, again the same. Let's flip it over. Oh, by the way, this is a Wonder Boy 3. Okay, uh, it's got a, some weird fault. Um, last time I seen one of these back in the day was Alien Syndrome and Shinobi had come on this platform, but big dollars. Um, they were charging us back in the day, or well, my boss basically, it was about three grand. The magic number was always 28.95 for the price. So have a, have a look at this again. All right, I'll flip it around so you can sort of see it a little bit easier uh, where the ribbon cables are. Same sort of layout, you can have a good look. Same layout over here. Like, now you see, daughter board. Reason is, I'll lift this other guy up. See the two security chips of the Sega, custom chips, okay? So those guys who were copying these and breaking these security back in the day, mate, I give them credit. I really do give them credit, you know? So that's what this daughter board is. Is it to replace the crack, the two security chips, what they put in the Sega. So, basically, don't be afraid of bootlegs. A, they're easy to repair. They're easy to get parts for. What are you going to do? You're going to go and find someone who's reproduced this and pay whatever he's charging for it to get your original board going. Or, what's cheaper? To get the parts from a normal electronic shop and slam the TTL chips? Have a look. Easy to get TTL chips. You know, what is it? A Z80? This is the sound section over here. Basically over here. Oh, sorry, sound section's over here. All right. Okay, some of the sounds is missing. They haven't populated it. I don't know why they didn't bother to populating. But again, when you were going to the arcade shops and playing games, you just wouldn't know the difference between boot, bootleg and original. So again, I don't deal with originals. You know, yeah, you like too. I love Japanese girls too, but what do you do? You know, well, life moves on. But as I said, I've got to give courtesy to those guys who've reproduced a lot of parts and keeping these boards going. But, what else can I say, you know? Oh, oh. Here. Have a classic look at this. This is a, a Return of the Jedi. All right? This is a Return of the Jedi. Okay. I've got, there's only about 800 ever made. And there's one in my fucking workshop at the moment. Okay, got that? 800 made. So who's got a bigger bladder than everyone else out there at the moment? So, so basically, I'm just waiting for... Um, a sound, oh, is it? Oh, it's over here. I'm waiting for um, a chip to come in for the sound section because I've got no sound here at the This is, sorry guys, this is the sound. If anyone wants to comment down the bottom of the you know, go for it. I couldn't give a crap, basically, you know. As I said, I've got a bigger bladder than a lot of people out there at the moment. So I'm waiting for that to come in. One thing I don't do is I don't buy secondhand crap, okay? 
Because once you buy second-hand crap or use it, it's already done its dash. So I guarantee my work. You know what I mean? If it has problems, you can, they can always send it back to me. I, I'll give you an example. The best one I had the other day. I was trying to be on a budget, tight ass. See these? I bought 10 of these. These are used on a lot of games, okay? I'll give you an example. I've got an elevator action that I'm just uh, repairing. It took me a, few, a couple of days. Wait for it. Here. Here's the elevator action. All right? Have a look. It uses four of these chips. So I'm trying to be a tight ass. How much do you spend on an elevator action? So I bought them. Out of the 10, five are duds. Oh. So, again, I've learnt my lesson. You know, buy from legit uh, sources and pay that extra couple of bucks, you know. But again, this is an original just elevator action. Have a check, check it out. That, these are the guys that were modifying what different program version, you know. Again, have a look. Again, it's just easy to work on. No, There's no custom chips on it. So, again, oh, sorry, man, guys, moves me around. But as I said, custom chips, biggest problems. Bootlegs, easy to work on. Don't look at, don't look at, let's go back to this Wonder Boy. Don't look at this big blob of thing. That was just protection for stopping other people copying what's underneath this. There's some of these without the poxy on there, just all TTL chips again. Same as, you have a good look over here. Again, all TTL chips. Again, Wonder Boy, you know, still does the job, you know. So, yeah, I hope this one video helped you. I'll dig up some other boards um, and explain some other ones. I'm trying to dig up the, an original Black Dragon coming for this dude. I'm an original Black Dragon. So, I will do another video on a, another handful of boards again. So, again, oh, back to the way, the, the, this Atari board. Okay, back to the Tetris. The problem with this one was the two chips are gone. The pokey chips are gone. Again, I could get the reproduction ones. They're a hundred bucks. What's the game worth? You know, so you got to ask yourself, what do you do? You know, so yeah, oh, this this one here, my Atari one that I've got here, this is a unique one. This is a tabletop version game. It's actually tabletop, so one person can play on one side, one on the other. I've kept this for my own personal because, as I said to you in the beginning of the video. We got addicted to it, mate. It's, it's an addictive game. That's why there's handheld units, everything. So correct me wrong, if you haven't played this, there's something wrong here. <laughs> what an addictive game, you know. But yeah, I hope you guys appreciate it between original and bootlegs, you know. Don't be shy, you know. But don't use second-hand parts, man. I kept, I said that with my pinball machine video, you know. Just use original, buy genuine, you know, and that's it. You know, your game will last longer, you know. It's like you're buying a second-hand motor in a car, how long you know to make it last, you know? So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said, it's hard to come up with something to talk about. But, yeah, uh, all right, passion is pinball machines and video games. Enjoy. Thank you.